Good morning. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster back here on this Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. It's about 11.30 a.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. Well, guess who's back? Kilauea Volcano came back to the eruptive status list this morning, about four and a half hours or so ago. Um, wasn't shocked. I think we kind of predicted this a couple weeks ago, if I remember right. Kilauea Volcano, latest informational statement here from the USGS states that the Kilauea Volcano is currently erupting um, at approximately 4.44 a.m. Hawaii time. Now, this was about four or five hours ago. Um, they uh, detected a glow in the summit webcam images indicating that an eruption has commenced. Pretty awesome. Now, it didn't take... You know, it wasn't a huge explosive eruption uh, and whatnot, but the Kilauea Volcano is not typical uh, in that type of um, eruptive stage. Uh, let's see what they say, state here. And talking about moving the watch to a warning status. Of course, uh, the associated hazards are currently being evaluated. This is what they do um, at any volcano that's uh, currently erupting. Uh, aviation color code from orange to red as this eruption and associated hazards are evaluated. Uh, the opening phases here of the eruptions are dynamic. Webcam imagery shows fissures at the base of the crater generating lava flows on the surface of the crater floor. That is pretty awesome. Uh, so right now the activity is confined to the uh, crater and the hazards will be reassessed as the eruption progresses. That is incredible. But hey, I think we knew that, right? We were looking at a little pause in earthquake activity, I would say, over the last three days. Remember, it's just been awfully quiet. But I think stuff had, I think the magma had built up below, uh, and it was just waiting uh, to find a way to the surface. That's what that three day pause was all about. Because uh, we still had uh, a little bit of inflation going on there at the summit levels. Look at the activity today. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Uh, of course, this will kind of mellow out here, uh, probably, as the uh, magma, you know, has found a, um, a way to the surface. Uh, unless there's a tremendous amount built up here below the crater, then we could see some more earthquake activity with possibly some more fissures opening up around the area. But for right now, I think the earthquake activity uh, should mellow out. Right now, 76 earthquakes here at Kilauea Volcano. I'm um, kind of curious to see if this thing popped off with a bang. Uh, it looks like there was earthquake activity prior to the eruption and uh, a little bit afterwards here. Remember, this just kicked off here about four hours or so ago. And uh, it looks as though things have mellowed out within the last couple hours. Right around 8 or 7 o'clock my time um, is when the uh, activity was kicking up. When the... Uh, Eruption commenced here at the Kilauea Volcano. It's been a little while, right, since uh, about January. It is a very, very active volcano, of course. Uh, let's see what we got here for the... Let's go back over here and look at a couple. Ooh, that one's not working. I don't know why. It is over here, so I just want to go over here and check out the webpage. Not for sure what's going on. Looks like some of my uh, windows are not working right. Normally when you click, look at that, they're having some issues here. The USGS that is. Unless they're updating stuff. Because normally you can go to these um, to their website where you can see current um, seismographs and um, gas readings and whatnot and uh, for some reason it is not working it wants to go to this page the usgs.gov so they may be uh, they may be updating it I don't know it's a little odd obviously it takes us to the uh, Status. There's webcams and whatnot. Uh, USGS, of course, has a wide array of photos and webcams. 
Uh, they just recently posted some photos. It seems a little odd. Uh, this may be a it may be overloaded right now with traffic as far as people trying to uh, see pictures and whatnot. Maybe get some information here on this volcano because normally things will work just fine. But something's going on here with this uh, USGS site. So we'll have to check back on that later. But either way, uh, earthquake activity continued there right around the eruptive time. Uh, and it should mellow out, folks. Again, with the magma now reaching the surface there at the crater um spewing out it should uh die down in terms of earthquake activity but that is pretty awesome i must say we'll see how long it lasts um up into the mount hood area of oregon now this is a uh, uh a volcano up there beautiful stratovolcano outside of portland it's a very uh, dominant feature out here across the landscape can see it for miles and miles similar to mount shasta but not uh, they're different in their own way uh, but this volcano up here has been showing a little bit of seismic activity as well uh, we did have a couple small microquakes last night uh, with a total tally of about 28 earthquakes following a 3.0 right smack dab at the summit area of mount hood volcano uh, most of the activity this time uh, at this time looks to be at the southwestern edge of the volcano uh, southwestern flank here uh, so we'll continue to watch that uh, doesn't look like we've seen any activity though this morning most of it was kind of uh, later towards the evening last night um, magnitudes since the 3.0 have been variable mostly small microquakes, but the depth consistent around 2.6 kilometers below the surface with a newer, a little bit of newer activity up here on the northern flank of Mount Hood. Let's go ahead and check out the, uh, I want to check out the seismograph station there around Mount Hood from the PNSN network. That's a Pacific Northwest seismic network. You can monitor volcanoes, uh, seismic activity, all sorts of data products up here. But we're going to check out Mount Hood, volcano seismicity here, and see what they got cooking from the three-component broadband station called Palmer Lift. Let's see here. Now, a lot of this stuff, unfortunately, there's a lot of outside interference going on uh, with a adjustment or something here at the uh, bottom of the seismograph. The earthquake activity in question, we kind of seen that yesterday. There's a three-pointer, there's a 2.6 uh, showing up here on the seismograph station. So the larger ones are definitely showing up here at Mount Hood. Uh, the smaller ones may be these right here. <clears throat> I'm not for sure what this is, uh, this long duration type event. Don't think it's magma. Uh, there is some adjustment though going on, it looks like, within the last few hours at that station which kind of messes up viewing the data. It's kind of hard to see what's going on when it's all scrambled like that. I don't know if it's outside or some type of inside interference. Uh, but on this map, on this station here, you can't even really see the smaller one. So it doesn't look like anything bigger is going on at the um, volcano here, Mount Hood. Uh, but definitely worth watching. We'll see how this... Uh, plays out there's no uh i don't think there's any statement on this as far as uh anything from the usgs just basically uh, a little bit of earthquake activity they do have swarms on occasion the last one was back in uh june 2021 if i remember right basically two years uh to this date so continue to watch that uh see how it plays out been a while since we've had a uh, you know a um, volcano out here along the west coast. All right, the rest of the map here uh, across the uh, western portion of the states. A little bit of activity last night around the San Francisco Bay Area. I've seen this coming in uh, early this morning near the San Francisco Zoo. Seven point eight kilometers deep. 2.3 with a little other uh, smaller microquake activity here just off the San Andreas Fault. 
The rest of the state, though, uh, generally microquake activity across the region. A little bit of movement here across the Intermountain West areas. Far as the rest of the country goes, very minimal at best. Let's see what we got overnight far as any large scale activity goes. Not really seeing anything major here. Um, looks like a 5.1 off the coast here of Columbia area. 10 kilometers deep. Um, fairly shallow up here along the uh, Columbian Trench. There's, yeah, there's obviously a couple subduction zones here that extend a little bit further north. Uh, but that earthquake, very shallow at the surface or at least defaulted there to the uh, surface level. USGS always states at around 10 kilometers or so. Looks like a little further movement down south into the South Sandwich Trench with a 5.1 yesterday and a 4.9 this morning on the northern edge. So obviously, what, what are we going to watch here? <laughs> Probably the center portion. When we get some movement here to the south and the north, obviously uh, that could put some strain on the center portion there of that subduction zone. Up into the Alaska area, not a whole lot uh, happening. Some movement here across this strait. This movement uh, relatively shallow here from last night. Uh, had a 4.3 and a couple other smaller quakes there in the mix of the Aleutian Trench. Uh, the Kuro Kamachaka area, one earthquake early this morning it looks like, a 4.4. Uh, somewhat deep there into the Kuro Kamachaka Trench area, subduction zone, 54 kilometers deep. Uh, and some movement out around the Tonga area and, of course, the um, Fiji Islands from yesterday. Um, goodness, do they have some new stuff today? It looks like they do. Most of the newer movement working its way west here uh, across the Java Trench with a 5.6 and a little bit of activity up into the uh, south coast of the Myanmar area. Uh, earlier this morning for that 4.8. See most of the activity here today working its way up around this plate boundary. Uh, some further movement out here in Turkey and uh, there's the activity, where was that 4.6 at? I believe that's from yesterday. Uh, Bulgaria. That earthquake coming in uh, looks like earlier this morning time frame. About 5 o'clock or so. Has been relatively active up here across Romania, Turkey area, and now uh, Bul Bulgaria area. Continue to watch this region for some further movement. Aside from the movement down into the South Sandwich Trench, the Atlantic Ocean looks pretty clear for now. Uh, the rest of the South America region here, got some fours and threes kicking off here across the uh, Chile area. But I think the big story though, gonna be the uh, Hawaii activity. Uh, looks like Cone Peak. Cone Peak is a station very close here to the Kilauea Volcano. So we we'll continue to watch that. Um, yeah, I've seen a 3.4 coming in now, didn't I? I've been pretty certain I did on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, actually, I had just clicked on that one. Look at that timestamp right here. Sometimes these, these flags are a little confusing, but this is 5.35 a.m., most recent quake over here, 1.3. I was going to say, goodness, um, I just mentioned that it would probably calm down. Again, this is, uh, you know, Kilauea volcano, very active volcano, and uh, erupts for long periods uh, at a time. Not far as the explosive activity goes, though. Uh, just basically spewing out lava at a slow pace. Uh, and the USGS, like I said, they have a... Uh, they have a uh, web page here to where you can monitor some activity uh, if you can get it to work. They got webcam images here open to the public domain. But for whatever reason, a lot of their links are not working right. Like if you go to the um, their pho pho photography map, there we go, spit it out, um, or lava flow maps. It takes you right back to the USGS page. So I'm not for sure what's going on here. <clears throat> Seriously, uh, it's a little on the weird side. I guess this is from today. Here we go. We can find some of the images on the all multimedia. Uh, courtesy here of the USGS. 
uh, with regards to Kilauea Volcano. It looks like this image here from today, but this is very slow. It almost seems like their uh, server is being overloaded. Let's see, it takes you right back to the web page. I don't know, anybody else having this issue or is it just strictly me? <laughs> I would hope not, it's just not me. Uh, but check it out, usgs.gov. Uh, you can go to any of their you know, webcam images and photography images here. But uh, it wants to reset me, at least, back to... Well, there we go. That works. Beautiful image here of the crater area. That's today's date, June 7th, 2023. As you can see, you got some fountains here spewing up out of a uh, fracture at the crater area. A fissure, I should say. Uh, so we'll see how long this lasts. Either way, a beautiful sight. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to get over there and check that out. I would love to jump on a plane today and go check it out. But uh, money and time, right, are two of the things that you need in order to do something like that. And right now, <laughs> yeah. But uh, goodness, awesome view. Uh, so go check it out if you want to see some more images here of the Kilauea volcano currently erupting. We'll provide further updates, of course, as they uh, progress. I think this will, it's hard to say how long these eruptions are gonna continue like this for, you know, they, it could be for weeks, months, years. Uh, but we'll keep an eye also on the Kilauea, on the uh, Mauna Loa volcano. A lot of times these two will erupt, um, you know, at the same time, similar to what they did last year was it last year or towards the end of last year uh it seems like time's just flying by lately but uh both of these volcanoes were pretty much uh erupting at the same time pretty cool all right folks i'm gonna jump off here um let's see space weather activity real quick looks like we did have an m flare kick up here overnight uh somewhat of a strong m flare and another c flare popping off currently from sunspot right here Got this area kind of acting up a little bit. That brightness on the image indicating a current flare. Uh, now the M4.7 looks like it came off of that same sunspot, which is 3327. Let's get a look at that and see what's going on here for the structure. Last night, it was uh, looking a little disorganized. <clears throat> Today, a little bit more prominent, darker features here across this area that uh, is currently flaring. And this is in position here where it will be geo effective if anything were to blast off. So uh, I don't think we couldn't, I don't think we could ask for a better position here from an active sunspot region if we want things to uh, pick up there on the three day. Right now, very minimal, but that could be uh, subject to change if we get any massive CMEs from the sunspot region that's currently facing us. 99% uh, chance for a C flare, M flare at 30, X flare around 10%. And uh, again, this thing's directly facing us almost here, almost squarely lined up. 3327, definitely watch that as it does harbor a uh, potential for some X flare with the Beta Gamma Delta class. Uh, Storm Prediction Center here today. Got some more thunderstorms out here along the West Coast. <clears throat> we'll see how, um, see how many make it down into the valley. Uh, looks like maybe a severe weather threat coming up here on day four. We'll get into that a little bit later. I don't want to cause any panic until we get a little bit closer to that day. Here's a thunderstorm forecast from the Storm Prediction Center today. Shows, well, a lot of thunderstorms out here across the west uh, in the portions of Texas and Oklahoma as well, uh, which is good. We need the rain, and uh, we'll definitely take it, right? All right, folks, have a good one. Stay safe out there, and uh, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight with the update. Uh, unless something major happens out here. Take care.